Math 6, Quarter 1, Week 1, Milk Base. Let's learn about solve routine and non-routine problems involving addition and or subtraction of fractions. Lesson 2. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about solve routine and non-routine problems involving addition and or subtraction of fractions. This is Lesson 2 of Week 1. For most essential learning competencies, solve routine and non-routine problems involving addition and or subtraction of fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving addition and or subtraction of fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Routine problem can easily be solved using at least one arithmetic operation and or ratio. Non-routine problem is a type of problem that requires analysis, manipulation, or derivation of formulas and the like. Oftentimes, this problem can be solved in multiple ways. It encourages group discussion in finding the correct solution. Phrases used in addition of numbers are plus the sum of the total of increased by more than and added to. For subtraction, we use the words like the, difference of, reduce by, diminish by, subtract from, and subtracted to. For our first activity, learning task 1, translate each of the following problem to mathematical symbol. Number 1, 7 is added to the sum of 5 6 and 6 sevenths. Translate this into mathematical symbol. Correct! The mathematical symbol is 7 plus is added to the sum of 5 6 plus 6 sevenths. Number 2, 2 and 3 fourths subtracted from 11 is equal to what is the mathematical symbol of this? Very good! The mathematical symbol is 11 minus 2 and 3 fourths. Number 3, the total of 8 and 4 sevenths and 11 fourteenths. What is the mathematical symbol of this? Very good! The mathematical symbol is 8 and 4 sevenths plus 11 fourteenths. Number 4. 6 and 7 eighths decrease by 2 and 2 fifths. What is the mathematical symbol of this? Very good! The mathematical symbol is 6 and 7 eighths minus 2 and 2 fifths. And number 5, 14 increased by 14 and 5 sevenths. What is the mathematical symbol of this? Very good! The mathematical symbol is 14 plus 14 and 5 sevenths. In the problem solving, you have to understand the mathematical phrases used in the problem so that you can determine the operations to be used in solving the problem. And now let's move to learning task 2. Solve the given problems. Number 1. Find the perimeter of a triangle whose sides are 5 and 1 half centimeter, 
7 and 3 fifths centimeter and 3 and 1 fourth centimeter, respectively. First, change this problem into mathematical symbol. 5 and 1 half plus 7 and 3 fifths plus 3 and 1 fourths. The fractional part are the similar fractions. So we have to find the LCD of the denominator 2, 5, and 4. The multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20. And the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Now, find the least common denominators. So the LCD is... 20. Now, write the LCD. To find the numerator, we will divide the LCD 20 to the first denominator of fraction. 20 divided by 2 and then multiply to the numerator times 1 equals 10. Next fraction, 20 divided by 5 times 3 equals 12. And for the third fraction, 20 divided by 4 times 1 equals 5. Now, add the whole numbers. 5 plus 7 plus 3 equals 15. Then, add the numerators. 10 plus 12 plus 5 equals 27. Then, copy the denominator 20. So, the answer is 15 and 27 over 20. The fraction part 27 over 20 is improper fraction. Change it to mixed number. Divide the numerator to the denominator. 27 divided by 20 is 1. 1 is the whole number. Then the remainder is 7. Then copy the denominator 20. 1 and 7 over 20. Now, let's add the whole number 15. 15 plus 1 equals 16. And write 7 over 20. So the answer is 16 and 7 over 20. Number 2. In making of a palamig, you need to mix 2 and 1 half pitcher of pineapple juice and 4 and 3 fourth pitcher of water. How much is the mixture? Translate this problem into mathematical symbol. So, 2 and 1 half plus 4 and 3 fourths. The fractional parts are the similar fraction. Get the LCD of the denominator 2 and 4. The multiples of 2 are 2, 4. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8. So the LCD of 2 and 4 is 4. And then copy the LCD. To get the numerator, divide 4 divided by 2 times 1 equals 2. And 4 divided by 4 times 3 equals 3. Next, add the whole number. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Then add the numerators. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Then copy the denominator 4. 6 and 5 fourths. So as you can see, the fractional part 5 fourths is improper fraction. Change it to mixed number. Divide 5 by 4. 5 divided by 4 equals 1. 1 is the whole number. And the remainder is 1 over 4. 1 and 1 fourths. Then add the whole number 6. 6 plus 1 equals 7. Then copy 1 fourths. The answer is 7 and 1 fourths. Number 3. Celine wants to make two kinds of kakanin, puto and kuchinta. Puto recipe needs 3 and 2 fifths cup of flour, while kuchinta needs 5 and 1 fourth cup of flour. How many cups of flour will be needed in all? The mathematical symbol is 3 and 2 fifths plus 5 and 1 fourths. The fractional parts are the similar fraction. Get the LCD of 5 and 4. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20. The multiples of 4 are 
4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Now, the LCD of 5 and 4 is 20. Then copy the LCD. Now, get the numerator of the first fraction by dividing 20 divided by 5 times 2 equals 8. For the second fraction, 20 divided by 4 times 1 equals 5. And then, add the whole numbers. 3 plus 5 equals 8. Then add the numerators. 8 plus 5 equals 13. Then copy the denominator 20. The answer is 8 and 13 over 20. For learning task 3, from the given data or information below, create the problem and solve. Use appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Number 1. Recipe 3 and 1 fourth tablespoon of sugar, 5 and 1 half tablespoon of flour. Here is my invented problem. Mother added 3 and 1 fourth tablespoon of sugar and 5 and 1 half tablespoon of flour to her chicken sauce. How many tablespoons of flour is difference from the sugar? So here is the mathematical symbol. 5 and 1 half minus 3 and 1 fourth. Get the LCD of 2 and 4. The multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12. Now look at the LCD. The LCD of 2 and 4 is 4. Then copy the LCD. Now let's divide and multiply. 4 divided by 2 times 1 equals 2. This is the numerator of the first fraction. For the second fraction, 4 divided by 4 times 1 equals 1. Now, subtract the whole numbers. 5 minus 3 equals 2. Then, subtract the numerators. 2 minus 1 equals 1. Then, copy the denominator 4. The answer is 2 and 1 fourths. Number 2. Sides of triangle, 7 and 3 fourths centimeter and 4 and 2 thirds centimeter. Perimeter is 18 centimeter. So my invented problem is this. The perimeter of a triangle is 18 whose sides are 7 and 3 fourths centimeter, 4 and 2 thirds centimeter, and how many centimeters is the third side? The mathematical symbol is 7 and 3 fourths plus 4 and 2 thirds. First, get the LCD of the denominator 4 and 3. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12. Now, look at the LCD. The LCD of 4 and 3 is 12. Then, copy the LCD. Next, divide and multiply. 12 divided by 4 times 3 equals 9. This is the numerator of the first fraction. For the second fraction, 12 divided by 3 times 2 equals 8. This is the numerator of the second fraction. Now, add the whole numbers. 7 plus 4 equals 11. Then add the numerators. 9 plus 8 equals 17. Then copy the denominator 12. 17 over 12 is improper fraction. Change it to mixed number. Divide 17 over 12. 17 divided by 12 equals 1. Then, the remainder is 5. Then, copy the denominator 12. 1 and 5 twelves. Then, add the whole number 11. 11 plus 1 equals 12. And 5 twelves. Now, the perimeter is 18 cm. Regroup 18. It becomes 17 and 12 over 12 minus 12 and 5 12. Subtract the whole number first. 17 minus 12 equals 5. Then subtract the numerators. 12 minus 5 equals 7 over 12. So the answer is 5 and 7 12. Number 3. Weight. 53 and 1 half kilogram, 33 and 4 fifths kilogram, 
and 34 and 2 thirds kilogram. My invented problem is, Divina bought 53 and 1 half kilogram of rice, 33 and 4 fifths kilogram of flour, and 34 and 2 thirds kilograms of yellow corn. How many kilogram of products did she bought in all? The mathematical symbol is 53 and 1 half plus 33 and 4 fifths plus 34 and 2 thirds. First, get the LCD of the denominator 2, 5, and 3. So these are the multiples of 2, 5, and 3. Now, get the LCD. The LCD is 30. Then copy the LCD. Now to get the answer of the following numerators, let's divide and multiply. 30 divided by 2 times 1 equals 15. 30 divided by 5 times 4 equals 24. And 30 divided by 3 times 2 equals 20. Add the whole numbers. 53 plus 33 plus 34 equals 120. Add the numerators. 15 plus 24 plus 20 equals 59. Then copy the denominator 30. The fraction part is improper fraction. Change it to mixed number. Divide 59 over 30. 59 divided by 30 equals 1. 1 is the whole number. Then the remainder is 29. 59 divided by 30 equals 1. And 29 over 30. Add the whole number 120. 120 plus 1 equals 121 and 29 over 30. And for learning task 4, agree, disagree, or more. Read each statement below. On your notebook, write agree if you can do it. Disagree if you cannot do it. Or more if you can do it with the help of others. First, I can easily identify the given in the problem. I can determine what is asked in the problem easily. I can now easily check whether the operation to be used is addition or not because of the phrases and hints I've learned. Next, I can now easily solve the number sentence involving fractions. Next, I can easily write the label or units of my answer correctly. Next, I can easily answer or solve any routine problems. Next, I can answer or solve non-routine problems easily. Next, I can create problem from a given data. And lastly, I can write my answer in lowest term correctly. So kids, for this activity, you will be the one to answer this based on your observation. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!